This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in the BMW i7 and we are driving it in Thailand. Oh yeah, by the way, it's the X Drive 60 first edition. Yeah, so um, yes, we are now driving in Chiang Dao. Uh, we are going to head south towards Chiang Mai. We are actually returning this car. So uh, I uh, borrowed it for <clears throat> three days only. And I'm making some kind of driving impression out of this. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> I'll give you my my impression after just three days. And uh, I have to say that I have some limitation of how far I can drive with this press car. It's a press car from BMW, by the way, in Thailand. Uh, only five, 500, 600 kilometers. Uh, so very limited what I can do. But at least I managed to do a range test. A charging test was not really possible because we don't have fast enough chargers. But... I believe this battery is similar to the, well, actually, is it the exact same as the BMW iX? 
so it's 107 106 107 kilowatt hour but uh, in my range test i estimated it to be 101 kilowatt hour net capacity and then the consumption was only 160 watt hour per kilometer that is actually not too bad for such a big car because i also checked the weight actual weight with driver and it was 2800 kilograms it's 40 kilograms heavier than an eqs which is like the rival had eqs 580 overdrive also uh but the eqs actually has bigger battery hmm uh and it's uh and this one, okay, and EQS has uh, slightly more range, but we're talking about uh, 630 kilometers of range. That is quite decent, but that's what you expect for, you know, over 100 kilowatt hour battery, right? Uh, but uh, I guess the problem with this car is that it's it's fossil design. It, it's BMW, they took another shortcut. They just took an existing uh, fossil platform, which is the 7 series, and then they electrified it. I guess to cost uh, to, to cut cost and uh, and speed up the developer time right but um, yeah unlike Tesla or unlike the Mercedes who actually went to make a pure EV platform which is the EQS there's only a, an electric EQS there is no uh, EQ yeah but actually is the EQS based on the S series no I don't think so I think the S series is different in many ways but okay anyway uh, i measure that the front hood here on the 7 series oh, sorry, or the i7 is 155 centimeters you know i told maya that and she was like she's that tall i was like yeah see what i mean see what i mean <laughs> so because this i7 is actually five meter and 30 centimeters and it's 10 centimeters longer than eqs which i considered being humongous but then the space in the front there is no front by the way so the 155 centimeter in the, in the front here is just used for uh, a little bit of car stuff we have i guess the front motor and the, all the electronics uh, onboard charger inverter everything is there plus some drivetrain in the back so uh actually uh, also by the way the back is just a trunk opening not a, a big hatch opening so this car uh, I've tested it uh, the interior review and it, it doesn't have that much space unfortunately so you get I mean you have a humongous car but you have somewhat poor space I haven't been able to test banana boxes but if I would do a guess Oh, by the way, the seats here cannot fold. You have the executive seats. Uh, yeah, I guess if I can pack banana boxes in the back here, plus the, uh, let's say 18 to 20 banana boxes, which is not that great for a 5.3 meter car, right? Yeah. Um, but then comes the great things with this car. The back seat area is just insanely loaded with technology. You saw the 8K screen uh for some reason it stopped working i don't know why uh, it, it worked the way the day i tested the, uh, did the range test but uh, <laughs> ever since then i haven't uh, been able to turn it on anymore <laughs> so i'm not sure what's up with that so no but, but, but the back you know each uh each back seat has its own uh, tablet and you can change some set you can change a shit ton of settings you can listen to radio you have wireless bluetooth uh, connectivity there you can f make phone calls there you can change hvac there is massage there is uh heater you can also change whether you want to have more more heat or cooling in your butt or in the back you have uh, you know even the the rear lights there the, the cabin light in the rear can oh there was a ding because i didn't keep in the lane well let me, let me actually set the uh, use auto steer but the rear that has oh no we have auto steer let's try the auto steer also <coughs> You know the cabin light in the back there you can change how bright you want it but you can also change the color temperature on the freaking interior light i was like wow now i am impressed yes and also in the middle of the console you have a wireless charging pad yes that's fine but there's actually uh, a fan in there to cool down hot iPhones when they charge, like a wife's iPhone gets really hot when it's charged wirelessly. Impressive, like it's just, I just mentioned the tip of the iceberg. This car 
the strongest point is its tech. It, it has so many goodies in the car here, just insanely lots and lots of goodies. <laughs> and I feel like uh, the, com the competition or the, com the strongest competitor, well, the only competitor is the Mercedes EQS. I tried the EQS with some executive seats, but it didn't have nowhere near as many features as this one in the back seat and also in the front. And then when it comes to comfort, you guys can probably hear it. It is so comfy, it just flows over the bump. Some of the roads in Thailand, they are quite shitty, but <laughs> it, it, it's just uh, an insane, unreal uh, experience to drive this i7 in these bumpy uh, roads in Thailand and just enjoy the silence and the smoothness of the suspension. But on the other hand, I feel like you can actually achieve this also with the iX suspension because the iX is also very smooth and very quiet. But of course, iX is an SUV, that this one is a sedan. So, yeah, and here we come to smooth asphalt, and you can almost not hear any difference because <laughs> it's so smooth. <laughs> and then we can talk about the power. It has the same drivetrain, I believe, as the, 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 the same 544 horsepower dual motor drivetrain as the, the i4 M50. And then now I'm just in some kind of comfort mode uh, and I can even be in eco mode, but there's a button, a boost button, like a, like a you know, a paddle shifter, but only on this side, kind of weird, not on this side, because it's not used for regen setting, it's used for boost. So when I just press the boost button here, the side bolts are tighten, the car lowers, we have a, like a 10 second timer, and then we get the maximum power <laughs> that's pretty cool so you, you can be in eco mode where you might have limited power but then if some fossil tries to race with you you just do the boost and then you humiliate them instantly <laughs> and you can keep reboosting the timer will if you just keep pressing this button it will just reset <laughs> that is so cool man and then when you have the environment in here uh, I like the BMW feel of everything. Uh, the steering wheel, the trim, you know, the sound system is awesome. I listened to it, I was like, whoa, this is top notch. It's the best, well, some of the best I heard right as long, alongside with the EQS sound system. So this is the Bow Bowers and Wilkins. So, yeah. And then what else? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Some stuff I don't like is this this one here. It's freaking diamond, man. Why do you have to put diamonds in here? Well, we have Swarovski uh, crystals in the front, by the way. The one I tried to show you initially. I'm not sure if it uh, it came out okay. But uh, yeah, these freaking diamonds, just like in the iX. When you're driving in sunlight, like in Thailand, uh, at almost any given angle, if you drive on, yeah, yeah, yeah then the, the, the freaking diamonds will shine at you. Yeah, so, but you can't, you can't really wrap it either because some of the HVAC controls here is part of the diamonds. So, um, yeah, but, um, okay, but, but, which car would I choose, by the way? Do, do I like this shit? Yes, I love the i7. It's it, it just, it's really a proper luxury car. Uh, in the back, you feel like you're a king or a dictator. That's at least what I felt. I felt like I was a dictator when I was sitting in the back there. Oh, yeah. I just need a chauffeur to drive for me. And then I can have nice meetings with my buddies like Pavel. We can sit in the back and plan our next plot. Yeah. But okay. No, but... So that's that's like the some of the best parts with this car. Oh, yeah. I should also mention, by the way, I also did a headlight test. And man, the headlights here, they are insanely good. Like... Test like a Tesla. BMW, they actually dropped, they, they stopped using uh, laser light. Uh, before it used to be laser light, but there's actually no, uh, also, you can see in the, la the, in the headlight, the, the ones with, head with laser light, you will have some kind of blue trim something in the headlight. There is no blue trim anymore. So they went for LED only, and then the crystal light. But the crystal light is just decoration. But I tested it around here at night, pitch dark. And I gotta say, man, those headlights, they are just so punchy, so strong, and they shine higher than I have ever seen in any other car. And they also shine very wide. And in my impression after testing it, 
I feel like these i7 headlights, they are actually the best, the strongest, the widest, the highest I ever seen. It, it was almost as if I was driving, I mean, if I was using a lead bar, you know, okay, maybe not really there, not like a, you know, laser elite, but okay, we have, we have, we have a police checkpoint, so uh, they will always check for uh, illegal immigrants. So I just have to open the window. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, I've been talking a lot lately. We actually have a fan club over here also. We have fan club here. One of the followers, they also work here as a pol polizai. Thai polizai, you don't want to mess with them. <laughs> actually, they are quite nice. As long as you pay them. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, but anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but the headlights, they miss the... Um, at least this one, this is the first edition in Thailand. I don't know how it is. I, I got the impression when I look at the, look at the uh, reviews in, uh, the, from the Europe cars, they have more spec, they have like the motorized doors that this one doesn't have. And also they have that, that lounge seat in the back that, that has this leg rest and everything. This one doesn't have it. And I also wonder if this one is lacking some of the, some of the headlight, maybe, the, maybe it doesn't have the top notch headlights because um, uh, the headlights here, they don't turn in the curves, which is kind of weird because the, the IX headlights turn in the curve. Uh, it has matrix, okay, it has matrix system at least, but also uh, not uh, LED matrix, but not pixel light. So in that regard, I feel like the headlights are not the best, but they are still, like I mentioned, they're the strongest and the widest and the tallest I've ever seen. And now we are driving on you know, bumpy roads, as you can probably see, or maybe, maybe you don't see it, you don't, yeah. But they are kind of bumpy and shitty, but you don't see it on the camera. If I was driving, for example, a Tesla, which tend to be quite harsh, on the suspension but then set up to be sporty you will see the camera will be shaking right and it, everything will look, look blurry when you go over the bumps but here no no and then how do I compare the suspension here versus EQS because I spent a lot a lot of time with EQS many many different variants also the suspension I feel like here is set to be quite soft it should be right it's a 7 series or i7 um, more or less the same feel like the IS, uh, like the EQS. So it, it actually feels kind of both. But let me try something here. If I then press the mode button here and then go to sport, then the side bolsters squeeze a little bit. And then I think I saw it before. It's kind of hard to see it now, but then the suspension should lower a bit and then it should tighten up. And I kind of, now I feel the bumps more, slightly more, but you don't feel them that much. Huh? Yeah. So it becomes sportier and tighter around the curves, which is perfect because we are going to enter some curvy roads soon. But I, man, I have to mention it that, like, which car would I still choose? Well, actually I mentioned that, okay, I love this, love this i7. But if I was given a car for free, okay, I'm, I'm not suggesting anything, but uh, if, because, okay, because if price doesn't matter, if I was given a car for free, I have to choose between the i7 or the EQS, I would probably choose, wait, let me see, which car would Bimmer Bjorn choose between these two Titans? I would choose EQS and one reason is because it has a hatch opening only and the trunk is kind of small but the EQS has a big opening and more flexible and I also feel like okay the EQS is lacking some of the like tech features like the 8k screen and everything but the EQS interior looks even more luxurious than this one okay they try they try hard to be very it's just a different style I guess but I don't know, man. When, when I when I okay when I touch some of this stuff here, okay, it, it looks nice. But some of this, this stuff is like plastic. Like okay, it's not diamond. It's some kind of shitty plastic here. But I still feel like the EQS is one notch better in in luxurious design and feel of everything. And then the fact that uh, EQS EQS has a trunk or uh, a big opening for the trunk just makes it more flexible well, i have to be careful here okay let me let me uh, yeah, yeah, yeah this is always tricky in thailand the freaking trucks they 
Okay, is that guy? Okay, he's there. Okay, let's get, okay, get over there. Yeah. It's always tricky to overtake there because they tend to hug the right lane. Even I did it because everyone and the mother do it. Yeah, and I had no one behind me. Yeah, so I would still choose the EQS. The EQS has slightly bigger battery and the EQS charges slightly faster. And it also has about the same efficiency. It has more power. It accelerates a little bit faster. It's a little bit lighter. You know, EQS, EQS has pixel lights and it turns. Okay, not as strong as this one. But the EQS seems to score a little bit better. Also, the, I love this, the stereo system in EQS slightly better because it has slightly punchier and deeper bass than this system. So, I mean, I'm not saying that this is a bad car, but I'm just saying that the EQS, in, in my opinion, in my taste, is one notch better on many categories. And for me, that's the car for me. But you might be a Beamer Bjorn or something, right? And then you will choose the i7 any day. So here we have some twisty roads, which should try to challenge. Think about this. This car is 2,800 kilograms, but you can toss it around corners like a go-kart almost. And then you get stuck behind uh, Thai uh, right lane huggers. <laughs> I mean, do they move out of the way? Do, they do I have to flash at them? Seriously, bro? bro? Come on. Shit. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, so I think, um, I mean, this video is getting pretty long, but I also have to shoot a Thai version. And normally I would kind of do a little loop, but here I'm already moving towards... Uh, the, the, uh, oh man, oh, in sport mode, it just becomes like a rocket. Well, except for this, it's not really a rocket. It's not, I, mean, it's, I mean, it's fast for a big uh, luxury car, but uh, uh, it, it's not that fast compared to a Tesla, no, just to put things in perspective. But okay, so... Um, yeah, but unfortunately time is running out and I gave you guys my best impression. I, I think I will make another one once I have tested the car in Norway and then I might change my mind. Yeah, okay, we just leave it open like that, you know. And maybe I'll choose again which car I will actually go for. But uh, now you, you, this is very typical. You have to do this in Thailand. You have to undertake. <laughs> yeah, and then, well, let, okay, okay, okay. You guys want to see it? Bangkok style driving just to show you guys that this car is just so awesome that you can do this shit I'm doing this with a freaking i7 driving like a madman. I just have the money ready Yeah, but just just to show you what this car is capable of you know It's a dictator's car. It's a whale, but you can toss it around corners and it, it is so much fun in sport mode Just do all this stuff <laughs> just have to keep in mind that you have 2.8 metric tons you're tossing around but other than that this car puts a big smile in my face when I'm driving it but when I get in the back seat it also puts a big smile in my face and I think that's what matters for people who would buy this car so anyway I'm gonna pull over here and then do a little bit of reconfiguration and uh, wait, wait, let me just okay oh yeah, oh yeah you see that it's so smooth you almost didn't feel me run, driving into the ditch there but yeah i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later